Okay. Radioactive decay can be used to determine the age of an object. If you know the number of radioactive nuclei with which an object started, the number of radioactive nuclei currently present, and, ha and the half-life life of the and the half-life of the isotope, you can calculate the time since the object was created. Suppose an object was created with okay with and 0.3.85 times 10 to the 9 nuclei of particular is it, this is the number that he that it started with that has a half life of 1600 years yeah? half life this is life this is half of 1 times 6 times 1.6 times 10 to the third years. This is year. Years. Okay. Of a particular city. That has a half life for the okay. At this point in time, at this point in time, 1.078 times 10 to the 9 nuclei of this particular isotope remains. Okay. What is the age of the object? Now we have. N is equal 1.078 times 10 to the 9 nuclei. And what is the time now? Or what is the age of the object? This is the number of nuclei that we started with. Okay, half life, what does it mean? A number of years that this number, number of years that this number is cut in half. So, if you have four nucleus and million years half-life, after million years, out of four, two will remain. So that is a half-life. In this situation, half-life is 1,600 years. And we started to the... What is this? This is uh, a lot. Three... Billion eight hundred and fifty millions of nuclei, and after one thousand six hundred years, we have not half but little more one billion and seventy eight billions, I think, of nuclei remains. And what is the time? There is simple equation that connects those two, and that equation is this. This is the number now, this is the number of nucleus now, this is the number that we started with, this is the number two, this is the time that passes from, from this number to this number, and this is the half-life. Why is two? Because it's half-life. If, it, if that was a third life, then would, then here would be number three. But it is half-life, so it's two. So that's better not right now. And how we calculate? For simplicity of the calculation, instead of these, this two, we will write E. E is not a um, foundation natural. Logarithm is very similar to 2, but it is a little different. Actually, 2 is equal e, it's almost equal e on plus 0.693. So, that it doesn't change much, but it's easy to calculate. Now, this equation we have, we use this and this part, we divided everything but by uh, n0, and we have n divided by n0 on this side, and this side we have remained this. Now we logarithm, we take natural logarithm on both sides. So we have ln here, ln of n divided by n0, and from this side we have just this situation here. There, there is no e on this side. Why is that? Well, because that is, that, well, because ln of a on b, of any a of any b, is when, when we rewrite this equation, we could, when we write this expression, we could write as b times ln a, that is just the way it is, but if a was e, that would be b times ln of e, and ln of e is just 1. So b times 1 is just b. In this situation here, we just place that in front of 
down there and the LN does disappear. So that, uh, but this is the reason why. Okay, now what we did here, nothing. We just separate this on another side and we get this equation and we get now we get this equation y where's the minus where minus climbed up minus climbed climbed here mm -hmm. it was more or less like this ln and to divide by n zero that is equal of ln this is minus but that could be minus one times this situation and that is ln of n divided by n0 on minus 1 and that is equal ln now these things just strip switch places n0 divided by n and that is this you see that is the difference now to find t we just divided everything that is here with this number and we have this number and we have number of years of the half-life and we have that number that we started with and we have that what we have now when you multiply out when you find ln of 3.8 divided by 1.78 you will get some number and you multiply all of this and you will get 2939 years that is is not Two times half life, but it's almost it's almost two times half life. So it is what we expected. This ten to the nine, ten to the nine is easy to to ten to the nine, ten to the nine is easy to reduce. But if you have some other numbers, that is there is simple calculation to do that. So try to find how to divide numbers with exponents and multiply and so on. That's a problem. That was the first part of the, of the assignment. Second part is very, very similar to the first. It just use activity. So we did find a solution for this. Written solution, of course, exists in this document. And for complete written answer, please follow the link in the description. If you want more of this, please subscribe and tell your friends. Bye.